Hello beautiful Sage. Welcome back to the channel guys. Let's find out what's going on with your person, past person. Just because we can. Let's get some messages. How are they feeling about the person that they went to? How are they feeling about that person? Spirit? Let's get some tea on this. I stopped bringing the whoever they're with around their family. Saying that they're using children to get information on them. They hate you. The karmic hates that you got something going on in your own life. Oh, they're found they're saying they found out that this karmic has been having a secret love affair. They can't stand their fake ass friends. Seeing that this person bought you a gift and the karmic flipped out. But making their life a living hell. I can't wait till I build up the courage to leave this shit. Oh, so it's saying you predicted the, the karmic's agenda. They tried to hack their phone. They can't cook for shit. <laughs> and deleted your number off their phone. They don't sexually desire this karmic no more. You were right all about it. They're saying you were right about it all. They caught this karmic talking about you. And this karmic does not respect their boundaries. So the karmic is trying to go public with something and the shit is going to break break. So they're holding something over your person's head. Tell me about this. Uh, They've lost desire for this karmic. They're not very domesticated. They they can't cook. <laughs> Maybe they can't clean. They've lost sexual desire. They're being reminiscent of you. They're still in love with you.
like they got feelings for you here Sagittarius tried to hack their phone to see if they were calling you Try to hack the phone. See, they blocked you off of their phone and tried to hack, get into their phone. Maybe try to hack your phone. I don't know. It's like dead. Their relationship, they're not interested in this other lover anymore. It's changed. They've changed their feelings. The karmic hates that you got your own thing going on. The karmic hates you, hates you. That you got your own work or that you got your own thing going on. You're very loving and nurturing. You are a leader, you're attractive. They hate it. They hate you. <laughs> hmm. Caught this person talking about you, calling you names or something. They caught this karmic talking about you. Or the karmic caught them talking about you and blocked you. They're worried about you. Like you got something going on. You're confident. You're independent. And they regret walking away from you. Because they still loved you. They're building up the courage to tell you how they feel about you. They're exhausted mentally and emotionally. Bitter, angry. Their family don't like this karmic Maybe because they've been talking about you. They're getting information from the kids. Or a child or children. They're getting info from the children about them. So it's like, if there's children involved or a child involved, they pump the kids for information, for info. That's hatred. They hate them for doing that.
person's depressed. trying to get away from this third party. See, they were talking about you. They might have overheard uh, this karmic talk about you. Hmm. So they're not interested, like, they're not interested, they've lost interest in this karmic. They feel like they're goss, they're gossip. Hmm. They could be gossiping about your children. They want to leave, get away. They're trying to dodge this karmic. They are. They're crazy. They're saying they're crazy. This karmic is crazy. Delusional. But I don't really much believe that. Like, like they could be crazy. But what's the karmic side of the story? You know? Like, usually behind every batshit crazy person, it's provoked somehow. Why? I don't know. There was a time there, Sagittarius, that this person could have called you fucking crazy. You know, just saying. So now they're calling the karmic crazy. This person may have a pattern. You know what I mean? They do like attention. It's like they couldn't drive you crazy because you're too confident and you're too independent, but they could actually be driving that karmic to the point of insanity. Like they're desperate, you know what I mean? Uh, they could be batshit crazy. They could be. But I'm feeling a hesitation there. I'm like, okay, the karmic could be crazy. But I'm sensing how they get crazy. What kind of games are they playing? Why are they with the karmic then if they're so batshit crazy? Why are they there then? You know, they're getting something out of it to be there. Let's be real. They are getting something out of it. They could call them batshit crazy to, oh, they're not good. They're, they're not a good cook. They're not a good 
housekeeper, they're not this, they're not that, they can't cook for shit, so why are they there? So, I believe, believe when I hear the other side of the story. Why does this karmic hate you? Unless they told them about you. Why is the karmic batshit crazy? Those are questions I asked. I learned that a long time ago. You know how many people I have heard in my lifetime saying that their exes are crazy? They're batshit crazy. They're crazy. Well, who made them crazy? And why are they crazy? And if they're so crazy, why the hell are you there? There's something don't jive with me. I'm sorry. I uh, Something ain't right. Well, I heard them talking about you. Well, I heard them saying stuff about you. So, and your family don't like them and they're no good and they don't cook for a damn and they don't do this and they're batshit crazy and they make you sick and they're jealous of you. So why are you there then? What's in it for them? Are they doing it for attention? Is that a pattern of theirs? Do they go around making a habit of making crazy people? We don't know if this person's playing mind games with that karmic. We don't know. If they're batshit crazy, they're batshit crazy. But <laughs> this is a repeating message. Like, I think this person does this habitually. For some of them, not all of them, but for some of them, they're doing it habitually. Everybody they're with is crazy. Wow, that's a coincidence, don't you think? I, I'm going to say it straight up. I think this person gets off on making people crazy. Like, they're not saying anything good about them. Is that what they're trying to butter you up with, Sag? When they come your way? Oh, they were crazy. They could cook. My family don't like. My family knows. My fa They're still making their family. They're, they're fucking... My family don't like them. They're not a good cook. It's all about them still. So why are they there if this person is so bad? Why are they there? Let's ask. If this person is so bad, why are they there? They got nothing nice to say about this person, spirit. So... I'm asking you, why is this person still there? Why are they still there with this karmic if the karmic is so damn bad? Why are they still there? They're not stuck. They're stuck because they want to be stuck. What's the real truth, spirit? Like... If this person is so dissatisfied with the karmic, why in the hell are they there? Let's call this person's ass out. Why are they still there? How come they're still with the karmic then? Oh, 
don't want to hurt the kids. They don't want their kids coming from a broken home. Looks like their home is broken anyway. If they got... Okay, let's see. The family don't like them, so they're not bringing them around their family. They're not domestic. They don't cook for shit. For the kids... their kids or or the karmic's kids yeah. well they're saying they feel ill having sex with them i don't know i think this person got something wrong with their uh their their odor I don't care. Why are they there? I can only think of like, okay, they don't want the kids to come from broken home. If there's children involved. And they feel used for money. Well, they must enjoy it then. Now, I'm sorry. They don't want their kids to come from a broken home. So, I'll give them that. But it can't be very pleasurable for the kids on the alternative either. Like, what are their kids? Outsiders? And they try to use the kids to get information on them? I don't know. Maybe misery likes company. Because if they were that miserable, they would not be there. Period. Maybe they do it because it gets them attention when they can complain about having somebody so bad. Maybe they look so good because so-and-so is so bad. I, I don't know what tweaks people's brains. But if you're asking if they're happy, they're not. They're not. But maybe they're used to living that way. I don't know. Take care, Satch.